All right, welcome back to Twin Flame Energy Podcast. I'm your host, AJ. And I'm your co-host, Damo. We are live streaming today instead of night on Podbean. Yes, we are. We are here. We are here. This is podcast number 22, and we just want to say welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Tuning in again. Right. Right. So. We get a glance. How was your week? Um, well, it was, it was, uh, busy, put it that way. It was busy. It just a lot of stuff. Week. Yeah, I remember our week. It was just busy. There was a lot of stuff going on. Sessions after session and this and that and music. A lot of good stuff, but it's just, it's a very exhausting week, I would say. Okay. Mentally it exhausting. Like two days. Yeah. It feels yeah. like two days. Yeah, because it's like, it's already like another week <laughs> and you're like talking about so two days ago yeah i just want to start off on a negative note what why why would you do that because i want to talk about critics oh i want to talk about movie critics yeah music critics yeah i think if you look up the word critic in the dictionary it should be it should say those with no talent get to line up people with talent and talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. Because I, I know where you're going with it, too. Like, all the movies that make sense on a, like, higher level get trashed. Mm-hmm. But then, like, stupid shit, like, like I said, La La Land. <laughs> Clearly, like... <laughs> I've got to hit my head to find that. Uh, yeah. Just being honest. Or movies that's just like, you know, this movie based on the Boston Tea Party, and in one room <laughs> is the Oscar award winning movie. But, like, sci-fi is a but movies fun. that that where where you have teams and and millions of different people working together to make something happen and great minds coming together and the sound engineers that work in day in day out and the, the graphic engineers and I mean all the time that's put into something for you to say yeah that right there it pisses me off like I feel like it should it is a work of art that shouldn't be given an opinion I feel like sometimes art should not be given an opinion on like it's there for those who, who need it, it, who who wants it, who enjoys it. You don't turn but if it's off. not your forte, don't even speak on it. Walk Just away. Just walk away. Because, yeah, that, that it, it pisses me off. I, I think we should be promoting silence. <laughs> right. The thing is, if I don't like something, I, I just remain silent. And if, honestly, too, if, if, if let's say you did not like, like, the writing and where they went and who they were, who whatever was and why did he say this? Talk about the things that you did yeah, like. Because that's what I was saying. Talk about it's the things that very, make sense. Talk about those things. It's very rare that we get trash. Right. It's like, it, like that never happened. That's because we're creators. Like movie, I can yeah. find something good about any movie. Well, that's because we're creators. I said so, what I said about La La Land because I've never actually seen it. But I do enjoy musicals, so I think if they had people in there who could actually sing, that I would have actually <laughs> enjoyed it. Like West Side Story, I think West Side Story was awesome. Yeah. I enjoyed the <clears throat> I enjoyed the acting. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. But just I mean, because I didn't like it, this is the first time I've ever said it's trash. Yeah. I, I didn't find a way to make sure that the world knows that I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Turned it off after 20 minutes and moved on with my life. And that's, I think we should encourage people to not feel like they have to speak on right. their feelings right. all the time. Right. Like their value, like not every feeling is valuable to the planet. Right, right. You know? Right. And I, and I, and I think it's like, when it's, when it's like, it's rare for us to find something that's just so bad, it's because we know what it's like to 
be creative, put in that work, how much feeling and passion, emotion, uh, blood, sweat, tears, all that is goes into something. Sometimes people are like, well, you just make music all the time. Like, do you know that each song is literally like me slicing my, my arm and blood coming out and that's a part of me. Like, I put my DNA in my music. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it's so much more than just me just clicking a button and making a song. And I think people don't understand that. And if you have that feeling or thought, then you're not a creative person at heart. You're truly not a, that that much of a creative person because you, won't, you don't understand that. So people that just judge stuff just to sit back in a chair and judge them because you, 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 you don't do that is it's just yeah. annoying to me. Yeah. It's just very annoying. You want to talk about what we're talking about? What movie we're talking about in particular? Morbius. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Morbius. Morbius was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. But I also like... It was a great origin. It was a great origin story. I also like metaphysical shit, so I think that I can see all these different things. Right. And how, like, in different parts, they're showing... See, what I like about movies is a lot of times they'll take something that can't visualize and mm-hmm. give you a visual so like you know in the mm-hmm. parts where like you're slowing down and you're feeling like the frequency in the air yes and things like that yes see that visual yes was totally awesome yes where somebody else would be like that stupid and it's like well you're stupid but you know <laughs> you know me like very- yeah like how did he start flying it's like you don't understand the concept of sound yes. you don't understand that sound carries and yeah. sound carries weight sound is also frequency sound is also light so sound is also everything that creates what we are in existence right so when he was touching the air like everything it was based on sonar it was just a lot of deep stuff that i think simple minded would not grasp and a lot of times i guess if we stop belittling those things that people want to call little those are the things, those are the building blocks of who you are. Without those things, you'd cease to exist. So right. think about things like that. Right. Without frequency, you just broke. Yeah, it's you the little, it's the little things. It's always the little things. Whatever frequency you're vibrating at, no matter how high or low, right. you will just cease to exist. Yep. Yep. So think about it in that way when you belittle something just because you don't get it. It's real easy to understand. Yes. The, uh, um, you don't have to use very much <laughs> of your brain power to understand that. It's all good. I'm not saying anything. But the point is, use a little bit more of your brain today. If we wake mm-hmm. up every day and try to understand something that we maybe didn't understand yesterday. Right. That's like the definition of growth. Yeah. Not continually to perpetually only engage in shit that you can easily understand. Yeah. It's called remaining stagnant. Yep. So. Yep. So yep. what is? I have a nice question. What is consciousness? <laughs> <laughs> um. Or yeah. conscious. I heard. I was listening to a a video earlier this week, mm-hmm. and they were talking about the idea of you know they talk about people who are conscious. It's mm-hmm. like what that does that actually mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm that you like think or like what does it mean you know what does it mean to you I, <laughs> it's, it's so loaded because I could go into so many things I guess I, it's thing. hard to really grasp yeah go, go ahead what were you gonna say it's a, what people also don't understand is even the idea of conscious like or consciousness there's levels yeah so you could be at the ground floor. You could be like one of those, you know, Jedi Master style people. Mm-hmm. You know, which <laughs> I don't think I'll get there this lifetime or the next. But <laughs> don't say that. Listen, I have. I'm a realist as to. Dude, you what never I, know. I believe every lifetime you are here for a certain lesson. So right, right now I'm enjoying the lessons I'm learning in my current stages. I'm not interested in jumping stages. Right. Just to be able to say I've done it, I really want to get what I want to get right here. You know. Yeah, consciousness or conscious to me is um, what we know as knowledge or knowledge, and that holds a lot of energy, weight, and uh, acknowledgement, acknowledgement of what what you know, 
and the power of knowing you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and being fully aware that's different from actually being you know in action of acting it out it's just the pilot the, the power of just knowing fully knowing who you are yourself what's going on what's around you the awareness of you know what i mean i think it's why even more simple than that it is it is but that's just a simple to me yeah to simplify i guess there's so much though. something, something so much. just popped in my head right now honestly that i never thought about saying for me conscious means i'm asking a question mm-hmm. because i think we as people blindly just follow shit yeah. like we say yeah. it's time for me to renew my tags so i gotta go get the smog check because i gotta renew my tags it's time for this it's time for that because that's just what we were taught to do but how often do we say but really why are they having me do this i right. bought a car i don't have any payments on this car right why am i paying right. you yearly for the right to drive it i call bullshit you get what yeah. i'm saying so like i think conscious is taking the moment to actually ask questions yeah it, and it, find out why you do the things you do or why you follow <laughs> the things that you follow and when you get to that oh when you open the door of questioning that's where consciousness begins yeah from the, my perspective simply asking the, the or a question and what i will say is i say this almost daily i almost say this daily to to somebody if you would just take one moment and think about just the simple things of why why we do what we do why do we listen to this why do we anything just if you take one moment each day and find something to just ask a really really simple question on something you do unconsciously you do it just because that's what the world that's how the world works right if you just stop and ask why you're doing that you will go into a deep hole and go further and further and further and further and it just just it's one step at a time you know what i did that with what alcohol Mm -hmm. this was years ago Mm -hmm. this has been a few years since i've but like since we moved here at the very least you know what I mean mm-hmm. so what I've gone like six years we just had our we just had our six year anniversary on the first of being here you hear me mm-hmm. we didn't even think uh, about it of, so of we've lived being here in the state yeah in, in the state of NC mm-hmm. so we've been here six years so I, at least yeah. six years I got to a point one time where I was like I really don't know why I ordered this high priced shit when I'm with people doesn't taste good to me. <laughs> you don't wake up in the morning yeah. feeling like your best self. Yeah. Like you're ready to conquer the planet and yeah, like, yeah let's get in. Yeah. You, it makes you feel like shit afterwards. Right. Don't taste that great. Right. So what's the point? I've always thought that it's like for, it's, man for so And long. it's expensive as shit. Yeah. That that's simply lemonade do you right for three ninety nine. <laughs> that's <laughs> it is. Put, some, put, some, put a little mint. Look, you find the put right sale. $2.99. <laughs> what I'm saying, you go to a restaurant, you know, they'll be like, we've got raspberry lemon. We put a little piece of raspberry and shit in a piece of a mint on the rim. That make you feel sexy. Special. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, I Look, I, I always got a real hard, you know, mm-hmm. I've always got a always bad, always. bad, like, you know, like judgment because Minus your mic's how, how I... Yeah, and 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 and, and, and 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 there's a difference yeah. because there's a conscious reason why you of good. why I even I even every those. once in you a while consciously enjoy it. Yeah, and and honestly, it's it's there's more to it. You know, there's more to it. But um, it, it's just like I used to get judged so bad because of how I felt about alcohol, and like it's like okay, okay, why? You know what I mean? Why? I, it don't make you feel like anything. Mm-hmm. It don't make you feel good. You know what I mean. So I used to always you feel a certain way. Regret whatever you did while you was drinking. Every time, every time. But then you think about it, it's like all this money. Yeah. You know, when you think about where most of the money go to consume, or the the what consumers spend the most money on, when in terms of 
you know, in the media, you know, um, you know, alcohol, um, sex or entertainment, sexual entertainment, you know, all the money goes to all these things. You know what I mean? And it's like, why? You know, why? Well, that's a whole nother. It's a whole nother thing. A whole nother podcast. <laughs> right, right. But if, but if you just, if you take a step back and just be conscious on every little thing, you're like, man, I didn't ever really think about it, but why is it that blah, 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 blah. You'll go into a loophole, yeah. an endless loophole. Yeah. Yep. So next thing I have on here, stress but then this kind of piggybacks off of we had a whole podcast on this but i still want to touch back on it stress addiction making up reasons to be stressed is what i wrote down Mm. and the reason why i wrote that out is because i do have a stress addiction yeah i don't think i know how to function without stress but even when things can be phenomenal i can make up scenarios in my head right that can produce that stress hormone because literally I feel like I almost can't live without it. Mm. And I'm noticing that. Mm. Like, I could be like, okay, the bills are paid. Like, you don't okay, know what it feels like to, working, to feel good. Okay, the kids are good. I gotta be like, but this could happen. Well, and I'll come up with something that it really isn't logical. Well, let's go right back to our episode. I don't know what number it is. Episode Addicted to Struggle. Yeah, I don't even have my phone on me, so I can't even... Addicted to Struggle. Yeah. That, that... We constantly <clears throat> find ourselves, you know, realizing how much more. Because at first you're like, oh, no, no, no. But then you think about it like, wait, oh, wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. That's I where guess, gossip comes I from. I guess so. That's where the clap back comes from. Like I the, guess we all are. If you think about it, are. how often people feel the need to, like, comment about someone on social media. I think that's an addicted to stress. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, mm-hmm. do you? You gotta have beef with someone at all times. You can't say, you can't be okay with being like, no one has a problem with me and I have no problems with anyone. Right. They gotta have somebody to be like, you see that girl over there, y'all, we don't like each other. We don't chill. Mm-hmm. People feed off that type of shit. Yep. You and know. They don't have time, they don't even know why. Yeah, and it's not worth anything. She didn't like kill your mama or, or it's just sleep that, with your man. It's just that if I don't have that person to talk about or have a struggle with, what will I do then, with myself? Then there will not be a struggle in my life enough yeah. for me to overcome. See, a lot of times I think that the struggle is people who, like, let's say people who like to help people. Mm-hmm. They're addicted to struggle because they want someone or something to struggle so they can fix it. That could be very true. Just so they can fix it. If there's nothing to fix. You don't know what to do with yourself. They call it the hero syndrome. That or, yeah. Yeah. The fix it, fix it syndrome. Yeah, and I mean, I under, I can understand that sometimes too because I'm, I I feel that way a little bit. Yeah, you know. And and it's like I've seen, you know what's funny. You know, it goes back to what I said to you the other day. What? When I was talking to you and I was saying that I want you to get to a point where you don't feel like you have to, where you can stay in your own lane until someone asks you for help. Because, like I said, if somebody was sitting in the corner and they were plugging something, in, like, like I don't know, playing, plugging, trying to plug the end of an HDMI cord into mm-hmm. the wall, like, like a dummy, and mm-hmm. they just, it's not, it ain't you working. You feel the need to run over and help. It's upside down. Versus, I'm, <laughs> versus, I said, get to a point where you allow people to ask you for help. Because and the reason why I say this is because you tend to put yourself in this position where your help is kind of like thrown back in your face but this is the thing though i don't care my you thing don't is care. my thing is i i have a disconnect i have a natural innate uh thing to help but i could care less if you like oh like if you like deny me of that i'm not going to be affected by it but you don't think so? no i know so because I, I i mean i do I it all like the time are. i know I, I do it all the time On like the back end, I like my, you're like, why do people treat me like this or that? No, I mean, at the end of the day, like, at the end of the day, like, if I asked, like, we were at that place, and then I was, the the people, they were doing the VR, and they had a problem with the VR, and I'm like, I know what's wrong with it. I do know what's wrong with it. And then 
I mean, you gotta you gotta reset that, and you gotta reset the box or the CPU, cause or the connection in the headset, blah blah blah, whatever. But whether they say no, 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 I'm good, and they gonna continue to struggle, that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm not I'm not you know gonna die because they're not accepting my help. Like some people will be like, well then you gonna just be stupid, you know? It's like. Yeah, there's no point. There's no reason for you to lash out to someone. You know what I mean? What if they want to fix it or learn themselves or train themselves how to fix it and they don't want the assistance? They want to learn for themselves. That's okay. That's 100%. And that is right. Right. You know what I mean? And that's, I can be in that position too. Especially if you feel like you're capable of solving the problem. You're like, give me a few more moments. I want to know what it feels like to solve this problem right but here's the other right here's the uh the the, the opposite side of the coin of, on that whole thing addicted to struggle stress addiction those who don't know how to do things mm-hmm. and also refuse help what's that all about well if they you said say it again you said those like, who who don't know nothing but I have to use you well, as an example. Well, <laughs> you can't. your hair. You, a lot of times you don't know what, what? you want to do with it, but you also will swap me over. I know what I want to do, do with it. it. I just. I don't know how. I, I don't know. No, I don't. But when I step in. But I know what I want to do. You swap back. Because I feel like you're, you're like trying to change what I'm. I, I want to do like or trying to over control something in that sense you know what I mean sometimes I feel that way that, well, but sometimes I want you sometimes I want you to do something uh to my I'm like like can you do this or can you do that and then you won't do it and then it would be like months and months and months and months and months and I'm like okay well she's just not gonna do it so then it's like then I'm trying to do it myself and then I get to a point where I'm like okay I'm doing this okay I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of this blah 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 and then you're like, let me do this. And I'm like, well, I already got this whole thing I've been doing for like weeks and weeks. You know, it'd be a whole thing. It's not just it's it's more complicated than just me denying that because I don't I don't want to innately deny your your help at all ever. Gotcha. Really, I want all your help. I that you know what I mean. So here's a double edged one: self care mm-hmm. and expectations, comma. What are mm-hmm. healthy expectations of your spouse? Healthy expectations of your spouse. As well as self-care and expectations. Like what's your yourself. what's your limit of what you expect of your spouse? No, what's healthy versus toxic. Oh. In sure. terms of levels of what to expect from your spouse. Well, when you say healthy, I'm thinking a limit. That's what I mean. Like like a, a good Like well, here's an example. Limit. If your spouse doesn't like your hair Mm -hmm. is there a middle ground where you're like i think you don't like it like this so what i do etc etc i think i think that goes with innately how that person is connected to it or feels about it yeah you know what i mean that's that's what i that's what i feel what's going on mr a joining us but um, but yeah, I will say, I I don't I think that. Here's a, let, let's let's call a thing a thing. Uh-huh. I said I want you to cut your hair. You don't want to cut your hair. Right. And I have my I have my connection to it because I feel so I've been I've been so disconnected from my hair for I mean my entire life, and I'm just now getting to a point of actually appreciating and and like. Um, trying to embrace my hair going along with like self-care self-love thing and i'm just now getting to that point and i feel like it's being taken away from me and i'm just now getting there and i haven't but i haven't embraced it the way that i would like to embrace it yet so i would like to see that through before i just relinquish that well here's an example you know what i'm saying right and you know i've called my you may not relate with that because I I call myself the queen of compromise because like I told you before, Mm -hmm. one thing I'm learning how to do is to fully, 
I what I normally do is I know what I want. <laughs> That's my cat moon. Uh. Um, I know what I want, but I never actually vocalize what I want. Mm-hmm. What I do mm-hmm. is what comes out of my mouth is already I'm already at the compromise spot. Right, right, right. So in my mind, instead of me saying to you, you know what, I just want you to cut your hair off. The compromise to me is to say, you know, you got the undercut. We we're pretty self-sufficient people. We do everything in the house. If somebody wants to cut their hair, they just cut it at home. They don't matter. It doesn't matter whether or not it's perfect. It just is what it is. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm like, if you're gonna rock the undercut, at least go to a professional barber, make it look really sweet, and then I can be okay with the hair. But see, that's where that I, to me is yeah. the compromise. And I disconnect because what with I that. Truly, want is for you to cut it all off. Well, I understand that, but at the same time, I only did this because of you. I did this because of you. I I did my but hair have, the way it was. It. I cut my hair a certain way because that's how you wanted it, and and you helped me do it. But you've never helped me follow through the way that you actually wanted your hair. You wanted my hair to be. I don't. I don't have. And, I'm not a hairstylist. Or men, so I'm not capable no, I, of even really. Like, and and that's the thing. It's like that's where the disconnect is for me because, you know, I've I've cut my own hair my whole life, and my, you know, my whole family. That's what we do. You know what I mean? We all do that. But what I will say is, I don't take care of my hair as much as I should, what and I do, so and I do understand that. I do understand a real that. Barber doing that. I, I'm I'm not saying there's nothing just wrong with it. It's just that, you know what I mean. We can. I think we could do it. I, I not, think we could. I'm, do not, it. I'm not doing it though. No, no, no. You don't have to do that part. I just I just want you to do like the the thing that we were just talking about before we started the podcast today. You know, the the, the whatever. But yeah, we can table that for a conversation at another time. <laughs> <laughs> like I told you, my compromise is a professional doing it. Mm-hmm. So that is the ends of my compromise. So anything mm-hmm. less than that is not even on my radar. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm never gonna like his hair, and I gotta learn to live with it. I gotta be like, my husband's hair looks like shit. I don't like it. The end, and I have to live with it. Period. There is no orifice or world where you don't go to a professional barber for the undercut, and I like it. That's just facts. Okay. That's okay. That's so, weird. That's so weird. I mean, it's just weird that it's like, well, I mean, I don't know. Like I, when when it is done, when it and it's done, and I'm like actually doing it and taking my time and doing it don't right. Like it, I can see how I you would know what like. Mean? It. But like I go it is on, what it is. I, like I'm online and I save photos and stuff like that. Like there's a style to it. It's not just short hair on the bottom, long hair on the top. That's what we have right now. Short hair on the top, bottom, long hair on the top. There's no style to it. There's no finesse, and all that comes from the finesse of a professional. They know how to do the cuts and the lines and the tapers and all that kind of stuff in a certain way. I I would say I know how to do that, but I just never do that because I just don't focus on it like that. I just don't, you know what I mean. I just I I don't put enough time into myself to to do it that way. But I know how to do it. You know what I mean. But I just, you know what I mean. I used to do it a lot more, you know. But I just I just haven't. And and that's what I said. I want to try to take more time and do that and do that more. That's my that's my whole goal. Now. Well, you said you want to pick some cards today, so we have the best self intimacy deck. Do you have a specific category in mind you'd like to pick? I don't even remember what the categories are. That's why. Can you read them off right now? Can you read them off? Go ahead. You're supposed to read them. 
All right, past, random, life, relationship, intimacy, and about you. I don't really remember about you. So let's do that one. What about color is that? Black? Yeah, I don't ever remember what that one is even. Is it saying that it's about yourself or is it about the other person? Maybe. I have no idea. Because I don't ever, I don't remember. You don't remember, you remember that one? I don't remember this one. All right. About you. So I'm going to shuffle. <clears throat> Picking a card, any card. Shuffling. And she's shuffling. I'm allowed to shuffle. Drum roll, please. <laughs> There's gotta be a drum, drum roll button. That's what I was doing. Describe something that's exciting in your life right now. Vegas next week. That's it. That's easy. <laughs> Your turn. Silencing your cell phone. That sounds exciting. What's something frivolous that you don't mind spending money on? It depends on what is considered frivolous. The word frivolous means things that you don't physically need. need. Shoot, I need. Uh, <laughs> um, Still frivolous. Electronic devices? Electronic stuff? I'd say video games. Stuff, not That's not frivolous to me. That's a necessity of life. <laughs> it is. The podcast and conversation just keeps going lower and lower. Wait, and lower. why is that lower? That was that is not lower. Anything card. that makes and card, takes you a to a place of pure happiness. Describe something that's exciting in your life right now. That video game. Is that thing also taking you time away from self care? No, it's not. That's actually part of self care. No, it's not. It depends on how you look at it. Okay. But it is but that's that's self care. Cause I only do it late at night when everybody sleeps so i'm not taking time away from everything else or everybody else i don't i don't i don't look i don't even play the game that day unless i took care of everything i needed to do if i do play the game i'm actually streaming but then when i do when i am playing i'm playing and i'm actually like fully immersed and enjoying myself it's raising my frequency and when i raise my frequency i just feel better about everything why does it sound like a manifesto i don't know i'm just saying Listen, you sound like you're trying to convince yourself. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just, I'm literally just like, it depends on how you look at it. Did you save the other card? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, do you consider yourself conservative, moderate, or liberal with your political leanings? Explain. What's past Explain. Huh? What's past liberal? That would be probably rebellious, right? We'll go with that Rebel. One. Yeah, we already know this. We, we that's not even a question to ask. The liberals need help. This is not even a question. So let me go to something else. Let's see. All right. What's one thing about your life you'd never change for me or anyone else? <laughs> that's, I, that's, Okay. I haven't reached that point. Of, there's a certain level of happiness, like self happiness, that I've not achieved yet. So I don't have anything that I could not get rid of mm. at this point. I hope to feel that way about something one day, but I'm not there yet. Would you say, like, like, I think probably the only thing w would be like music? Would music be that? Like your music and everything? I can't say that either. What? 
there may be a level of consciousness that's even higher than that. I can't say. It's a funny question to ask and answer. Hmm. All right. You want to do like what? One more? Or a few yeah. more? Every car. Every car. <laughs> Every car. <laughs> You're really not supposed to. Do you feel jealous when you see me talking to other attractive people? <laughs> you would never see it. <laughs> really? See? Would wanting to slap so no <laughs> Don't Smith, anybody. Oh right. Right. Just that's a yes or no question. No, I don't I don't think I would I don't think I feel jealous, no. Great. I don't think I feel jealous. <sighs> if I ask your past partners to list your most negative characteristics. Wait. What would they tell again? me if I asked your past partners? You've asked that to me before. Maybe in a different way. It was a so different. It was a different most podcast. Negative characteristics. What would they tell me? No, we've never done this. One. Negative characteristics. Mm -hmm. So is is I would have to think about what they would say about you. I have no idea. I have no idea what anyone would say. That's problematic. Because I, yeah. That's not a good thing. It's loaded. But yeah, that's I. That's not I, a good thing. I don't. I don't think. I, cause, because that means that when you parted ways with those people, you didn't do any self reflection. Well, there was a lot of that. Of yeah, course. but if you if you self reflected, you could say, "I know they would say this about me," because at that point in time. When we, were, when we were separating my part in the separation was XYZ so if you can't find your part even if the other person cheats if you're cheated on by someone you do play a part in them not feeling like you aren't like you get what I'm saying like a person wouldn't cheat because they're like what I have isn't worth the risk but when a person does cheat whatever they have they feel like it's worth the risk so I feel like everyone plays a part even in those moments because when a person's not feeling fulfilled well that's a whole loaded thing you just going real deep with it but I I, it's just more I guess more loaded than that or more complicated than that but it, there is there's I don't I don't they've never said anything put it that way like there was always a there was like there, they never said anything gotcha. or at least I don't know gotcha alright well that does it for this week's podcast we will be back with more amazing content to share and discuss thank you so much for tuning in we will see you next week and make sure to like comment share and obviously subscribe we're going to leave you with the song of the day from of course our favorite group vapors if you haven't heard them go stream them wherever you stream your music the song we picked today is called i can hear it from the third album that came out a couple of years ago it's called fallen you have a great week and of course ignite, ignite your, your energy, energy.
begin to feel the fear that we are here But no intent, we've been in a experiment And now we know the same a drill When it begin to feel the fear that we are here But no intent, we've been in a experiment And now we know the same a drill Oh, <laughs> 